Hi Jules, I am back and today is going to be a little bit of a, a creepy, spooky kind of thing we're going to be doing today. It's very similar to the tree that we made up today. We're going to be making a spider. The ingredients that you will need, I have mixed glue Elmer's glue or glue wall or her, whatever glue you want to use has to be the white school glue in with water and I've mixed it up into a kind of a thicker uh, thicker paste. The next item you're going to need is newspaper or sales papers made of the newspaper uh, style not the ones with the shiny coating on it just the newspaper or sales papers you're going to need tape. Doesn't matter. It's whatever tape you want to use, but I'm going to be using both because this one's got a stronger bond and it's the thicker tape. And this is the two inch tape you can get, or the one and a half inch tape. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. Now, this right here I got at Lowe's and it came in a six pack. And so um, I paid a little bit for that, but I've used this for many projects. Um, you're also going to need paper, like regular paper, to form our project. And this is just paper that I put down to like this right here. Uh, well, not that, but what's underneath it. Uh, this is just like regular like craft paper that you put down to cover your surface. I've got two of these, and you'll see what we're going to do with these in just a few minutes. Um, let's see. Uh, you, you're also going to need some parchment paper or wax paper. Set it down on your surface and lay it down because this is what's going to protect your surface from getting glue all over it and all kinds of mess you don't want to have sitting. Um, it's either or what you want to use for the for the decoration for the body, but this is what you can get at the dollar store. It's natural raffia. And I'm going to try and use this. We may or may not use this, but um, this is just a, a thought that I had. You're also going to need some wire, but uh, I've got to get that. Um, you can either use wire or rolled paper. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to use roll paper. I was going to use wire and I had second thoughts. I'm like, mm, maybe not. So I'm going to use some roll paper for our legs. So we're going to be making a spooky spider for Halloween. So uh, you're also going to need a paintbrush to paint on your, your strips. We're not going to do the traditional dip and stick. We're going to, uh, we're going to be using um, a paintbrush to paint it on. All right, so now what you're going to need is your paper. Let's put that piece to the side because we may need that later on. All right, now we're going to rip this in half. Actually, no, we'll see. We'll see. And so we're going to ball this up. And we're going to form it into an abdomen of a spider. You know how spiders' abdomens are. They're kind of, uh, kind of uh, not an hourglass, hourglass shape, but more of a teardrop shape. And so we're going to form what, uh, form a little bit of a teardrop. And then we're going to form the, I think this is, uh, I think this is the thorax of a spider. I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to use tape to bind that real quick. Don't worry if it looks like a mess. We're going to fix that. So what I'm doing, I'm just, sorry if I was off, off camera. So what we're going to do is we're just going to form the, the back end of the spider. I don't know if I told you what we were making or not. So that's what we're making if I hadn't told you already. Alright, so we have a very rough shaped back end of our spider. Now, your next piece is going to be your head of your spider. And I'm going to rip this big other paper in half. You can use other paper, but this is the paper I'm choosing to use. All right, now we're going to ball this up and make our head of the spider.
you know, spiders are different looking. So we're going to form our head. And we're going to tape that on right there. And I have formed little fangs. You know how spiders have the little uh, the little the little teeth or teeth things. I don't know what they're called, but they have those things right there at the end of their mouth. So this is going to be the top of his mouth. And we're going to put some tape around that to keep that form. Sorry guys, if I keep going off camera, I'm so used to working up close. It's, it's kind of weird. Now that we have our head formed, we are going to tape it onto our body, the spider. And that is where the big tape is going to come in handy because this is very, very sticky. This is Scotch 3 millimeter. Uh, Tape. I can get that. And this is very, very, very sticky. So we're going to tape this on as best we can. get those strips that come off unevenly. But they could work to our advantage because we need to get them some tight spots anyhow. not have to be perfect because we're going to be covering this in these strips of paper. So you're basically paper mache this. There are other paper mache recipes, but your true and through never fails is glue and water. this done and we're going to go in the front and form her his fur I think what they call mandibles the little mouth part with her little claws on it the teeth are pointy things spikes After we get that done, we're going to form our spider legs. Basically building your spider right now. Do 
this is something you can build without the wire and all the complicated things that you see other people doing paper mache with. This is the easy way. You want to go through and make sure all your all your places on your spider where your tape is is pressed down. You want to cover your spider up fully with the tape. Almost done with this part, and we'll be getting into making the legs. I watch that tape all get all twisted up. It's okay. Let's rip off the part we don't want. And remember, as I said, make sure that you go back and you press down all the pieces of tape that you have loose or open. Looks like you got a big old tape rod. <laughs> getting off camera so not used to, I'm still not used to this angle so used to y'all being like right here not instead of like way off One more piece. All right. We got the body done. So we are now going to work on our legs. Here's our spider body. It's kind of rough, but once it's done, you'll see it come together. This is, I always say, this is the ugly duckling stage. We got a rough looking spider. Rough looking. Need one more piece. I still got a piece that's open.
All right, now I'm going to set this to the side. Now, what we need to figure out is how big we want our legs. And I'm going to take this same piece of paper. I'm going to tear it in strips. We need eight of these, eight of these strips. It doesn't matter how big your strips are. We're going to be twisting them up anyway. And this is like that pre presentation paper that you can get at Office Max. It's the big kind. That's what I'm using. You don't have to necessarily use that. You can use whatever paper you want. Four. to making our legs. We'll set these off the camera and we'll pull them up as we need. Now, we need to make our spider legs. And so the best way to do this is take your long strips of paper and just begin twisting them. And then after we get done twisting them, we're going to wrap them in masking tape. Okay. So, when we get done, our spider legs will be a little bit harder and they'll be attached. And so we'll have long, spindly legs for this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap our legs in the thin tape. Do this for all eight of the spider's legs. We are going to be putting some paper and glue on this, so it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. <clears throat> this is just your form for your legs. leg down. Let's do six more or seven more. Ah, I can't count today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Don't worry if you rip the paper. Take your piece of tape and put a band aid on it. Like I just did.
You can even use the tape to bulk up your, your legs too. cast pieces that we had. Kind of wanted to tear up on me. Wad up. Always a use for your off cast. Alright, so I've got two legs down. get the hang of putting the tape on there it'll go kind of a lot a lot faster once you get the, uh, the strips of paper and the glue on it it'll be a lot stronger but after I get the legs put on that'll be a different tutorial If your tape gets wrapped up, not a problem. It's character to your leg. Right. Leg number three down. Oop. See, it's already it's got a mind of its own. Like I said, you could also use wire to do this, but you'd still have to wrap it in tape. So I'm cheating. It's the easy way out. Going a lot quicker, you see that? How are you doing, Cooper? 
No, you can't get up here, sweetheart. Mama's working with stuff that you can spill. This is taking so long. I don't know how to edit this out to make it go faster, so I guess you're stuck watching this whole entire process. To the last one. Should have done this before the starting of the video, shouldn't I? But hindsight's twenty twenty, right? You could call it a ASMR. you how to attach them and then we'll end the video and we'll go on to the next tutorial.
we will have to go back in and reinforce this tape because it is kind of loose but this was just to show you how to do it Right. We now have that done. Now, I'm going to go in and reinforce some spots of this spider leg. I'll use my thicker part here. are going to be real spindly. None of this tape will show, I promise. Sorry, I'm so quiet, guys. When I get into doing something, you know me. I'm quiet as a church mouse.
Getting the spots where the other tape missed with the uh, with the circling around. And plus, this makes it a little bit more sturdy as well. Now, which one did I do? This one. Click any clacks of paper. Come on, paper. Go play. He's fussy today. He whines because he can't catch the flies in the house, and so he sits there and cries because he can't catch them. And then he goes through the house and chases them. He finally gets them. Oh, I thought I seen another piece that needed it. I'll just place it right here. No sense in wasting tape. a bunch on this one. Lord have mercy. All right. Now, we have our legs. We have all eight of our spindly little legs. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our spider form here. And we're going to place on our spider, our spider body, The legs. And we'll probably have to reinforce those legs. <sighs> Great force that we quit doing that. This tape right here seems to be more forgiving and can shape. So what we'll do is we'll just go all the way around these. 
can form them <clears throat> like that. Don't worry about putting too much tape on it. You never have too much tape. That one, please. It won't take long. Get them wrapped up. That's starting to get annoying. You coming in here to tell on yourself? Huh? Coming in here to tell on yourself, little boy? No? No? I thought we were almost done, guys. I guess not. And I noticed and it wasn't very, I wasn't getting very pliable pieces. So, just wrapping the whole shebang up. This is one boring video. Once I get all this wrapped up, you'll see what I'm doing. Plus, this tape going around like this is giving it more of a roundish shape anyway.
previous part. This video's getting up there in time. We ain't done hardly nothing, but this will be worth it because this is what makes your spider. more to cover and then I'll show you how to put this on and then we'll move on to the next video. I'll end it there.
One more. One more. Almost done. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Seriously, this time. One more little piece, and we'll be done with this part. All right. Now we have all of our legs wrapped. Now, why do I keep missing spots? There we go. All better. Now, we have eight little spindly legs. We're going to set them to the side. And so what we're going to do, attach this again. There we go. Probably you can't as the bending place. Now we're going to, we got to figure out where we're going to, where we want our legs to be attached to. This is going to be kind of a, a big spider of legs. Now we're going to use the tape to attach these legs. You'll start to see that spider come alive. Like sculpting, if I'm using paper and, and the tape. Now I've got the first leg almost attached to this body. One more piece of tape right there should do it. All right, so we have one leg attached. Two legs on. Look at that. And our spider is beginning to form. Our 
creepy, creepy, creepy photo. This is actually for a Halloween party that we are having. And this is going to be one of the props. I'm doing this for her, but it will come back to me once it's, the party is over, though. there. Hold those two pieces together. And then we've got one more leg to put on this side. Almost look like it was coming out of the side. I just kind of Got one more to put on on this side. Maybe we can get it in the right spot this time.
right, so we have one side put together. One side of the spider. And that spider did not want to let go. So we've got the dawn. Now we got to put on the second half, then this part of the tutorial will be ending. want to line it up whenever you do put your second or your, your other side on because it will look kind of funny with it putting it on and it not being lined up but who's going to pay attention to it they're just going to say Ooh, how creepy and then move on Almost done, guys, for this one. And we'll see what it looks like. You know what a fun fact about me is? I hate spiders. Here I am making one. I figure, right? absolutely despise spiders. But this is for a good call. It's for a Halloween party. So doing this for her. She wanted me to make something creepy. So it's a creepy crawler. Does that count? Alright guys. We have finished our Spider. Now we gotta form him or her, whatever you prefer it to be. I'll turn the camera that way you can see it. All shaped. Alright, so our creepy spider. Look at that. His natural. Yeah, 
all cooked together. All standing up. What do y'all think? Y'all think y'all think she'll like that? Alrighty guys. I'm done for this tutorial, so I want to say thank you for coming in and watching me do this. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering this with our paper strips and our glue. And then after that, we'll be letting it dry. And then the fun part comes, painting. So these will be separated into separate tutorials. So uh, be watching for each one. Alrighty, guys. I love you all. Thank you, Jules, for coming in to see me. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.